Hello friends, welcome to Redescript.info and here we are going to continue our Laravel video series and in this video we are going to see how to delete a record. So Laravel provides two ways of deleting a record. The first one is permanent delete. Simply select record, pass the ID or based on any column, uh, apply the conditions and delete it from the table. So it will be a permanent delete. And another, ways, uh, another way of deleting a record is soft delete. Soft delete is like your system. Whenever you delete something from your system, so that will not delete permanently. That will go in your recycle bin, and at any time in future, you can restore the, those deleted things like whatever you have deleted pictures, images, videos. You can uh, restore all those information from the recycle bin. So, in Laravel, we have something like that and we can do soft delete. So, it's like uh, uh, what how Laravel does this thing. It's uh, whenever you do a soft delete, uh, Laravel simply add a column with a name, with a timestamp data type, and mark it with timestamp. It means it is uh, soft deleted, and at any time in future, you can retrieve those records, or anyone can retrieve if required. So here we are going to see those operations. So let's begin. Okay, so you can see we have an anchor tag here. This all this all show table show show and view file and here I'm using our anchor tag. So uh, we want to delete using a button, right? So just replace this with button. Why I'm doing it button? Because you you are under you will come to know quickly. Save all. Let's see, refresh it. And it's burden, right? Yeah, it's burden. So, uh, come open your command prompt and simply stop your server for a while. And you can say PHP artisan route. Okay, strong command. I can see the route list and the way how we can delete a record. So th this is a URI string forward slash and the pass the string ID. So you can use this URI if you are using URL method. URL and pass simply the URL with ID. Or if you want to use a route, you can use this one string dot destroy and you can pass the second argument uh, as an ID. So that's that is uh, optional. If required, you can pass. So here we required to pass second argument as id if we are going to use route method and the important thing is the method so method is simply here it's a delete request right so to make a request here we cannot make a request with anchor tag or just a button we need a form there are another ways of making a request but here we need uh, we are going to simply uh, we are going to simply use a form to make a delete request so let's come here and this is a button now create a form Give it a method. Uh, apply the action. So action I'm going to use route. If you want to use URL, you can use URL. Or simply it's a student dot Let's try. Now we are going to pass second parameter. So our form action is done. And now you can see, as I told you in the very few first videos, like uh, Laravel form works when it has a CSRF field. Without CSRF field, Laravel form will not work. You will come up with 419 error. So for that reason, I'm going to provide here. Uh, CSR field so it's a CSR field and and it requires a, a, a method name so it's a, it will be hidden and name will be underscore method and value will be delete because it's a delete request okay great and let's take your button here paste here 
so it's a form we need a type submit save all refresh and our survey is not running let's start working it and you can see now because of that to form it is now it is not an inline it is a block wise so we'll fix it later but the main thing is we should know how to delete so whenever you press delete you can see there is no issue no 419 error or nothing but it's working fine our request successfully raised to the controller so come to the controller and the first way of deleting a record is is to use this trend model and get the record and delete it how we can do that uh, we can simply say student and use the scope resolution operator to find the record and those records we are going to delete student arrow id so now we have the record here okay and you can say if tall s arrow delete then it will delete your record from the table and you can say return back with so here i'm gonna say echo instead of going back because we want to see other ways of deleting a record right so record successfully okay save all just for testing purpose go back refresh if you can see we have this one come here I'm, I'm going to delete it you can see the record deleted successfully this is a one way and what we are doing here we are first retrieving the record and based on that uh, model we are calling the delete method this is a one way let's comment it so now we are not going to retrieve the record if you know the primary key we can simply uh, pass the primary key to delete a record so get it say student scope resolution operator and use the method destroy and you can say here student hello so it's our it's our primary key right so you can pass your primary key and and if it deletes without retrieving right save here we are we were retrieving the record but here we are not retrieving based on primary key we are de deleting our record it has another feature what we can do okay yeah, go back refresh the page and let's delete this Imran Khan you can see the record deleted successfully it works perfectly nice and it it also accept a array instead of just simply passing an ID we can also pass an array here let me show you how you can say the array and here we can pass the multiple primary keys let's say we want to delete uh, multiple records for example uh, if you go back and if we keep a uh, one checkbox here then anyone can check tick the checkbox like google gmail other things so select uh, a few records and go to the action and select the delete and those four or five records will be deleted so for that we need to simply pass here id like uh, id one comma two comma three so in this way we can pass the multiple primary keys and we can delete uh, all those records it's so simple right but for now it's just shouldn't save all let's go back refresh let's delete this one and it's deleted record deleted successfully now the we are going to see the soft delete method of how to do soft deletes for that uh, we need to specify uh, we need to go first our model so we are getting everything from model right all the records is from model so our model is inside this app folder and you can see here this is our model we have assigned uh, fillable with some what we are going to fill and what we are not going to fill so here we need to say we need to add a uh, before adding a column we need to say we are going to 
use soft delete so first we need to import that model here you can see we are importing model similarly we have to import soft delete model so just copy this line the same one and say your soft delete Now we have imported soft deletes. Now we need to use the method of the soft deletes. I want to show you something. Uh, this is an object oriented feature. If you go in, inside the laravel.com and uh, documentation, come here eloquent ORM. We are using eloquent ways up to now. We haven't used database way of deleting or editing or anything. We are using eloquent. So getting started can see the deleting models okay so the way we have already shown you retrieve the record and delete and delete an existing model by using the primary key so you can use the primary key multiple times it accepts a array okay i have shown you this way also you can use a where clause also right but uh, this is the uh, using this is different way this is a query way we can we will use this way in our project right in our major project soft delete like this is what i'm going to show you so for to, uh, to work with soft delete we first need to add a column in our database to say we are going to use soft delete in a particular table and we'll have to specify in the model uh, one date uh, and we need to override this date variable this is from model and we're going to override this so we need to specify what column is actually is for soft delete so we will create first a column with the name deleted underscore at and to create this column we also have something in laravel we can use this uh, method soft delete so if you use this method then laravel will automatically add this deleted deleted underscore at column in our table so let's begin with this uh, soft delete okay come and uh, open your command prompt stop your server for a while and say here PHP artisan and uh, migration. Sorry, it's make colon migration. Make colon migration, and uh, here you need to pass. Uh, you need to write your write the script name. So we are going to add a new column. Add add column. Uh, add deleted underscore add to or uh, string table to string we're going to add a column in a string table right we'll have to specify the table name it is a string table hit enter and you can see our uh, the our migration file script is created so come in your database migration and you can see the column it's a uh, add column deleted to soft reads. this the class is automatically generated and here is our string table so simply i'm gonna say dollar table arrow soft deletes okay save this and make sure it's a deletes yeah soft deletes so it's we have added and let's rerun our migration file php artisan and say migrate Okay, so our migration script runs successfully, and if you come and see your shrimp table, then you'll see a new column deleted underscore at is added with null values. Right now, we'll have to uh, specify this column in the model. So come to your shrimp model, and you'll have to we'll have to override one uh, protected member of this uh, model class. So we'll have to say protected dollar dates that is the dates and we'll have to pass the parameter delete underscore at uh, you can see we have imported soft delete so we'll have to use uh, something like use it's like uh, it's a oof feature uh, you can say here use soft deletes so what is this actually what is this use why we are writing use here inside the class soft dates so it's a trait it's like inheritance this uh, if you know about uh, object oriented programming you, you may aware of in um, interface right we whenever we create an interface we can implement interface in uh, using our class 
just type the interface and then interface name and we can use the methods available inside interface so it's similarly like it's a trait this is called a trait so this trait has few methods and variables and we are going to import or adding or using or inheriting everything from this sort relates inside this class so if you come and hover over here then you will come up with a path and go inside and you can see this is a trait and all those features available here like this force deleting and this force read method all those things we can override inside our model inside our student uh, student model right this is like inheritance so this is called trait so it, it is simply saying use this we'll have to add this line okay we already added so protected member takes and this is deleted at okay great save it save all now whenever we delete then it will this column or whatever the record will be marked with timestamp and that that will be considered as a sort deleted let's come up come and uh, see the output refresh start the server once again You can see we are we are here and uh, if you delete this Adil Khan record delete and you'll see the record deleted successfully in your database if you browse it and you can see the record comes with a uh, timestamp right it means it's 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 soft deleted right it is not permanently deleted if someone wants to retrieve this record using the normal like find or all I have shown you in the previous videos they can't retrieve using those methods there is a special method to retrieve those record i will show you here so you can see here uh, what records we are going to delete so after sort delete yeah we have done just just for example you can use anywhere wherever is your requirement so just type student scope resolution operator and uh, the method name is with trust so it will retrieve those records which is sort deleted which are soft deleted so with trust and you'll have to apply one more method get so it will uh, it will bring all those uh, soft deleted record with trust right and you can store anywhere in the variable and just do dd tor store my aim is to just show you uh, in future we are going to use those things right Fresh. Let's delete this Ajay. So you can see uh, we have deleted Ajay. It's uh, marked as with timestamp. And if you see the deleted records, so there are few records which are soft deleted. Uh, there are so many records uh, showing the soft deleted, which should not happen. Come back and see the query sort deleted models. You can use the where with trust. We can specify the where condition and then get. So I, I want to retrieve all those records with trust. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. We have used with trust and with trust will give you all the records. Means the those records who, which are deleted and those records which are available. So I want only the uh, trash records so we have will have to use this only trust then it will give you four records which are soft deleted sorry for my mistake go back refresh and let's delete one of them and you can see it here is five this time array length is five and the five records are soft deleted if you go here and browse it then you can see the five records one two three four five records are soft deleted uh, I'm, I'm, I'm in, I place this function in a very wrong place because to see so to see this effect we'll have to simply delete one of them so you can just go back from here you can use anywhere uh, wherever you want or you can just create a restore function 
and you can use those methods so just uh, for now we will simply see the uh, this normal delete okay so I, I what i want i want all of you to come here once and go through these uh, query like query stop deleting models with trash so th that i shown you with trash it will give you all the records deleted as well as not deleted and this i use just now only trash so only trash will give you only the delete stop deleted records you can use the restore method to restore all the records simply in, inside the controller you create your method like uh, show the user if you want to retrieve just click this button and execute this function it will restore your record so please come here once and go through this is called um, go through this uh, documentation then you'll come to know a lot, a lot of things thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and we are going to complete uh, our uh, this mini series then after we will continue with the student enrollment system bye